Hey, how's everybody doing? Uh, Jeff from Covet the Camper, just uh, doing a quick upgrade video on this uh, Atwood uh, stove and cooktop uh, ignition system, these twist sparkers. And um, the reason why I want to update this is it makes a really loud noise when you, uh, you know, want to boil some water. Uh, or you know start the stove and sometimes I'm heat, heating water up when the kids or my wife are still asleep in the camper here and uh, It's just way too loud. It makes a horrible loud noise as you can hear Sometimes it takes you know four or five turns of that before I can get the uh, the cooktop lit so there's a uh, a really cool little modification that I saw and uh, shout out to Ray at uh, loveyourrv.com for uh, turning me on to this. It's a um, battery operated um, sparker and it takes the place of this whole mechanism. It runs off of a uh, AA battery. So you just push this little button here and uh, sort of like on a, uh, a, a barbecue, uh, an outdoor barbecue. It uh, runs the, from the AA battery, it runs a spark to each burner. So it's a, a lot quieter, probably uh, won't, uh, they won't even hear it when I'm firing up the stove in the morning to heat up some water. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to work. Uh, this is a uh, pretty much a drop in um, uh, swap but I will have to just remount this hole a little bit. This is, uh, I believe, a 5 8 shaft on this sparker, and this is a 7 8 inch. So uh, I've just got my little step bit here, and I'm going to ream the existing hole out uh, to 7 8 and get this thing retrofitted in there. So let's take a look. All right, so the first thing we have to do is uh, remove the cooktop. And um, so we can access the wires of the existing sparker. And um, once we disconnect the wires from the existing sparker, remove the handle, uh, we can get that mechanism out of there and uh, get our hole drilled uh, and get the new sparker installed. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is get this cooktop removed, uh, the, the top portion, and uh, so I can access the uh, existing sparker. Now in order to remove this cooktop, there's some spring-loaded uh, little uh, spring metal back here that are clipped onto the back side of the uh, cooktop. So um, if I remember right, you push these this back, and then there's a little tab up here that can lift out. So you got to push it back first, and then yeah, it just lifts right out. So get rid of this. Put this over here out of the way and um, I'll clean up some of this stuff while I'm in here. But uh, here's these little spring-loaded metal tabs that uh, that hook into the back of the cooktop. So you push those back which allows you to um, get the this little tab that's on the uh, bottom of the cooktop. I don't know if you can see that little tab right there. Goes into a little lip right here. And, um, and then that lifts out real easy. So there's three wires, uh, you know, one going to each one of the burners. So, um, you know, you can get your, your, uh, your spark, your uh, flame going. And um, I have turned off my gas um, at the uh, propane tanks and I've bled the lines. And um, so I know that there's no gas in here. Um, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and get these wires taken off. And, uh, and then I can get this handle pulled off and I'll uh, remove the existing sparker. Okay, so these wires, there's three wires, one going to each of the burners. And um, they're just push-on tabs, so they just come off. They're, they're round uh, push-on tabs. So you get each one of those out of there. And um, I'm going to remove the handle. That just pops right off and there's a um, couple of screws right there and that'll allow us to remove the existing sparker. OK, 
Okay, and then this guy just comes right out. And that's the old that's the old sparker there, the twist sparker. So out with this one, I'll ream this hole out. It's got a, it's, this is a half inch hole, I guess. Um, so it's got to be reamed out to seven eighths. I'll go ahead and do that with my step bit right now. Okay, so there's the hole reamed out, seven eighths. I'll go ahead and uh, fit the new sparker in there. Okay, so this is the uh, only fire uh, electronic uh, sparker, and uh, it's the part number 03340, and um, it's going to replace that, uh, that old spin sparker, the twist sparker. So let's open this guy up. And here's what you get. Um, it takes a uh, AA battery, unscrew that, and you got a AA battery that goes right in there. And once it's mounted onto the stove, you just push that button, just like on a barbecue, just push the button and it throws sparks out to all three burners to get them lit. So, cool little upgrade. Okay, so one thing I noticed that you'll have to do, and um, Ray over at loveyourrv.com mentioned this as well, is you can see on the uh, connections, those are uh, like a rectangular spade connector. And the existing connectors in your stove, at least on my Atwood, um, they are round. So real easy modification for that to make it work is just get yourself a pair of pliers and uh, just ever so gently squeeze them so they're uh, oblong. And once you've got them kind of bent just a little bit, um, they will fit onto the new sparker nice and tight. So let's do that. I'll just do a quick test fit of these uh, connectors real quick just to make sure that they slide on nice and tight that's not going anywhere that's nice and tight so um, get all three sparkers put on there and then uh, we'll uh, we'll get it mounted all right so one little thing i figured out um, on this sparker there's four terminals and you've got three burners um, you'll need to terminate one of the one of these sparker terminals here. So it's a 7 64ths um, disconnect, just a, one of those slip-on connectors. And uh, just slide that right on the one you're not using. And uh, I just put some electrical tape around it so it's, uh, so it, it's um, not going to touch anything. And it won't... Uh, spark up against the side of the stove. So once you got that, um, I'm, I'm gonna put a little bit more electrical tape around this to seal it up, and then uh, I'll get the uh, new sparker installed. All right, so also if you wanted to cut these existing wires that go to the burners um, and put new disconnects, you could just uh, you know get, get four of these um, 7 16 disconnects cut the uh, existing ends off of these, the round ends, and crimp on new uh, sl uh, slip-on disconnect in the 764. So that way it'll it'll uh, slip onto these uh, 764 terminals on the new Sparker uh, nice and tight if you don't want to go and crimp the round ones. So that's just another option for you. Double A battery. Okay, so that's on there. I'm just going to check to make sure that it's sparking. OK, 
Okay. So I'll go ahead and push this again. You can see the spark on there. And uh, you can hear that it's a lot more quiet than those old twist sparkers. So that most likely won't even wake up the family when I'm firing up the kettle. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get these screws back in for the face and uh, get the top back on and uh, should be ready. Stoked while I was in there, I found my uh, little grommet for my grill that I thought I lost. Slipped down in there when I was going down the road. All right, so there we go. That's a pretty cool, quick and easy modification. Um, you know, if it doesn't bother you, don't do it. But uh, this this little piece um, was. Uh, $7.95 on eBay, or sorry, it was uh, $7.95 on Amazon, and um, it is, uh, again, the uh, only fire 03340, and, uh, you know, not a bad little upgrade for under $10. Bucks. Um, install is probably, you know, maybe 10 or 15 minutes, and uh, kind, of a, kind of a neat little upgrade keep uh keep the camper quiet it's a pretty small space and any amount of noise uh right next to the bunk beds which is right across from the kitchen here uh wakes up my kids so anyway uh hope that uh this was useful for you uh i'll go ahead and put in the description below i'll put the uh the link uh for this in amazon it's not an affiliate link so, you know just if you want to you know buy it um Again, it was on sale, I think, for under 10 bucks, somewhere in there. But uh, I'll put the link in the description. And uh, thanks for watching. Check out my other videos. I've got some other good videos. I just got done recoding my roof and uh, resealed all my windows and all that kind of stuff. So um, check out some of my other videos and uh, my camping videos. I've got more camping videos coming up. We're getting ready to go on a trip. So uh, stay tuned and uh, keep watching. Thanks a lot.